everyone and welcome to Simply Made Homestead. I'm Marion and today it's all about the quail cage. Now if you haven't seen a video on how to build the quail cage, um, it, I will have it linked at the end of this video. So be sure and check that out. It's really cool. It's step-by-step -step instruction. Now the one in the video is the smaller cage for once you start breeding them. This is the grow out pen. The only difference is that this one is twice as long and it has two doors instead of just the uh, one and it's two levels. I mean, you, you can see the little bit of difference there. But the cage, the floor of it is the design is exactly the same. The only difference is the size. So I want to show you it's time we have new babies that are getting to the point they need to be uh, put in the grow out pen. So I want to show you just how easy it is to clean it. Um, I pulled it out yesterday, my husband and I, and I started cleaning. I was like, I need to show you guys just how easy it is. Now you can see down here at the bottom, you see these screws here. This is where the floor is screwed into the frame of the quail cage. Now we've already taken them out. We just loosen the screws and it dropped right down and we pulled it out the front. Now I'm gonna take you around here and I'll show you those. And all I did was spray it down with the, now if you have a um, pressure cleaner, pressure washer, I would highly recommend that. I wish I had one, I don't, it's on our list. Um, of things to get but I've got a really good jet on this one one nozzle that we have so I used that and I really uh, sprayed it down got all the ookie off and you wouldn't believe because I first started out because it's first time cleaning the quail cage and I know I built it to make it easy to clean but anyway I just started spraying and then like all the poop that gets right on the edge there like between the two boards I'm like, oh my gosh, I can take the floor out. I forgot that. So I took the floor out and it just made a world of difference. It is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna bring you in close and show you. Now, I just sprayed it down late yesterday. Today, I am going to get a um, just some vinegar and I'm gonna spray the pen down everywhere just to kind of um, to sterilize it, to really give a good cleaning. And then once I do that, I will hose that down as well. Let it sit out in the sun today and really dry up really well. And then we'll put it all back together and I'll show you how to do that when we get that to that point. And um, then the, it'll be ready for the babies. So let me bring you in close. All right now, as you can see, see here are the, see the screws? Just goes right into the frame there. And there are the floors right over there leaning up against the, the shop. So we'll just, the screws, just screw it right back in there, uh, nice and into place. And you can see here, I mean, yeah, see where, you know, a little remains, dusty remains and such. I'm, I am gonna get a little brush once I spray it with vinegar and give it a little bit of a scrubbing, nothing major, just to get the little excess off that. Like I said, I think the, the pressure washer would uh, really get that extra off, so I wouldn't have to do that. Uh, but that's okay. We we do what we got to do, and we use what we have, right? All right. So let's get our vinegar. All right. So let's head over here to the hen house, so we can get the vinegar. I keep it over here because I use it to clean the um, roost and things like that in the hen house too. It really works well. So. I'm just gonna show you on this door what I plan to do. I'm just gonna squirt it down really well. See how it makes it kind of it wet and it, it cleans it. So I'm gonna spray everything, but right down here where the where the poo kind of is hanging out, I'm just gonna give it a quick little brush in. Just to kind of help loosen it up and Get it as clean as we can. Now, 
see, like on the inside here, it's really easy to just come through there and give it a good spray in. Just to kind of add a little, uh, you know, to disinfect a little bit. We want our cleanliness is clean water and a clean cage is just so important for all of our animals to help keep them healthy and well. Okay, I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch me clean this cage. So let me get, get a, do a little scrubbing and then I'll be right back. All right now, so the quilt cage has been sprayed down with the vinegar and I've done a little scrubbing here and there. Um, so now I'm just gonna rinse it off put it on jet again just in case it kind of loosens the place it up so we can finish getting it cleaned up and ready for its new occupant. Now the floors I put over there on the concrete that's behind the pen over there. You can see them back there. They've been sprayed down and scrubbed as well. And while I'm doing this, I just, I turned the pan around so you could get a better look at it. And this is our grow out pan. Where we'll put all the boys on one floor and then all the girls on the other. So this is where, while they're growing up and getting of age, um, Put them here until we figure out who we want to keep for uh, eggs, or breeding more quail, or who is going to freezer camp. So as you can see by the design, if you go to the video on how to build a quail cage, You'll be able to see here that it is very much, it's exactly the same. The uh, video shows three levels because there's only five birds in each, six birds in each uh, cage. For this one, everything is exactly the same. The ends are the exact same measurements, but we're doing two levels instead of three. You can do three. You can do however many you want. size that you want. Now we have been really, really pleased with our cages. They have really worked out just absolutely beautifully. Um, on our one of our other cages, we do have an automatic watering system. Then I'll have a video out soon on how to build that. Uh, I would like to add one to this one and to our other uh, three level cage because it is like it is such a wonderful thing you don't I mean it's the, the quail are kept inside the shop so it's uh, the sun doesn't get to the uh, waterer and so it doesn't get all green or funky or weird it just stays really nice and clean and you don't I don't know probably once every two weeks I have to empty that thing because it's a five gallon bucket and we're talking about 18 tiny little quail. So it takes them a while to go through that. All right, so next I'm gonna let, I'm gonna go over and rinse off the floors. We're gonna let them dry really good and I'm gonna let the sun, the sun's really good for uh, sterilizing things and disinfecting things. So I'm gonna let it sit out here for a while today and then we're gonna come back and put the floors back in and I'll bring you along and show you how. All right, see you soon. Here we are. Um, it has been several hours. I have, it's been uh, washed. You saw that and sprayed and everything. It has dried really, really well. It's been sitting out in the sun. So the wood is really nice and dry. It's the sun has done uh, its good stuff by 
you know, helping to sterilize and clean the, the cage. So now we're gonna add the floors back in. All right, honey, let's grab one. Okay, so we're gonna start with the top here. I guess it doesn't have to be the same hole. This one matches this hole. And it just slides right in. you can see right here is where our trays go where all the uh that we put shavings nice fresh pine shavings and where the poop and debris goes but right now we just slide the floor back in there and then push it up in there all right so here's one of the screws that we already had in there and you can see my husband he just Just that simply, the floor is back in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Nice and clean. So now we'll do the bottom floor. Once again, it just slides in there. <laughs> Honey said he's got it. See, I was only needed for just a little minute. But anyway, guys, there you go. All we have to do now is move it back in the shop, put the trays back in here, right here, where the trays will go. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been helpful to you. And if it has, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications so you won't miss a thing. Now, if videos like this are helpful to you or you know some people or friends or family that you would like to share it with, that is the absolute best thing that you could do to help us. And we really would appreciate it. So until next time, take care and God bless.